So this is the GSG-15 in 22LR as it comes out of the box. It's got a folding stock which is adjustable to the rear in three positions and an adjustable cheek rest which you release by pressing this button that looks like a bolt. It also has a uh, swivel sling mount here. It comes with uh, rear and front flip up sights that are mounted on a rail on top of the gun that runs the length of the gun. The charging handle is removable. It takes a little bit of force to get it out. And then you can place it in uh, three positions on either side of the gun, whichever you prefer. Once it's in there, it will not fall out. It's pretty hard to get out. The thumb safety is also ambidextrous, as well as the magazine release. It comes with one magazine, which also functions as another safety in addition to the thumb safety, in that the gun can't fire or be decocked unless uh, the magazine's in the gun. In addition to that safety, there's a built-in one. Uh, there's a small pin in front of the firing pin that's controlled by the trigger, which prevents it from being fired when it's dropped. You can fire this in the folded position. The manual says uh, do not fire with the stock unattached, but it's literally talking about the stock being unattached. Uh, I'm pretty sure when the distributors get these, they have to attach the stock themselves. So just don't be confused by the manual because uh, it's a pretty shitty manual with a lot of spelling mistakes and uh, confusing instructions. You can still use it and it's perfectly safe with the stock in the folded position. It even states at the beginning of the manual that it's designed to be fired with the stock folded or in the extended and locked position. And the shells still have enough room to eject just fine as they go up and out. The magazine is a plastic 22 round magazine. Uh, I bought a second one for about 44 bucks, so it's pretty expensive for each magazine. The only plastic parts of the gun, or polymer, whatever it is, is the stock and the uh, grip and mag well. It also has a flash hider on the barrel as well. All in all, the build quality seems pretty good. Uh, it's fun to shoot. I put about 500 rounds through it so far and didn't have a single malfunction. Overall, I can't really find anything to complain about. It's a cheap rifle runs well, haven't had any issues with it. I'd say the stock kind of feels like the cheapest part of the gun, the plastic maybe, although there's no wiggle to it whatsoever. Just the components of it feel a little more cheap in the plastic than the uh, the grip and the mag well do. But again, no big deal. And uh, runs well, it's cheap, it looks sweet. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, wood bang.